Hi there, welcome to Nighthawk Archery. In this video we are going to press a bow that has beyond parallel limb bows. That is the limb points upward or inward as opposed to pointing outward. Now to do now these bows are the most difficult bows to press and to do it we're going to make a few adjustments and that's the purpose of this video. Now, the, on the Nighthawk bow press frame, there is this black line, and that rep represents the center of the frame. The distance between these two edges is about equal at that point. Now, on here, we have these pressure points. We've moved them about an inch below that black line. Then we've also adjusted them in so that they are the width, uh, uh, they, they match the width of the limbs. You'll notice that the pressure points have a rubber pad on them. This rubber pad has a gripping ability and to grip the uh, limb. And you'll also notice that the bottom of the clamp also has a rubber pad and it is made out of the same type of material. Now to press the bow, I just lay the bow on a flat surface and I mount the frame onto the limb of the bow. And then I just tighten down the little clamps. Now the reason I lay it on a flat surface like this is because the flat surface has a tendency to center the frame on the limb of the bow, which makes uh, the whole process of pressing a lot easier. And your flat surface could be virtually anything. It could be the floor of a room. It could be um, a blanket laid on the ground. It doesn't really make any difference. We do the same with the second side. And just, yep, that's fine. And once we have this finger tight, It hangs onto the limbs pretty secure, but it, not, it allows us to hold on to the limb while we do the fine adjusting to get the, limb, the frame centered on the limb of the bow, and there we go. We're going to do the same here. Adjust that up a little bit. Centered. Just uh, mm -hmm. and now I'm going to just tighten the strap. Give myself a little more travel on the turnbuckle, and I'm going to tighten the strap. Now, with the frame centered on the limb, I'm going to tighten the clamp down just a little tighter using an Allen wrench. This way I'm sure that I have the clamps tight and also that they are tightened evenly on the frame. But you want them tightened evenly. And I can just easily look down and there's a little thread that shows uh, on the bolt so I can measure to make sure that they're equal just by eye. And I'm doing the same with the other side. Hmm. And then we have it clamped on. Now I want you to notice where we're pressing. We're not pressing at the tip of the limb. We're pressing at the base of this wide part of the limb where the axle hole is. And the reason we're doing that is because this part of the limb doesn't flex and we want these frames to form a V going outward. You'll also notice here the amount of clearance we have between the frame and the limb. 
So if you're pressing an invasion or a um, destroyer or the Excalibur, where they have uh, their axles are mounted on top of the limb, you'll see you have plenty clearance. There will be no interference there. So we're ready to press the bow now. No. Tighten the strap up. Okay, we'll press the bow. Um, you'll notice as I'm pressing the bow, we're finally getting a little pressure on it, that the entire limb from here all the way up to here is going to bend. We're going to press the entire, entire limb. We're not just pressing a portion of the limb. Also, the turnbuckle. Notice the turnbuckle. Now, this is a great way to compress something, to put pressure on something, because I can adjust it very finitely. Also, it is solid. It's not going to slip. There's no way that the Nighthawk press is going to slip off of your bow or that the turnbuckle is going to slip. So it's a very secure way to press a bow. And we should be just about having it pressed now. A little bit more. Okay, got it pressed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the bowstring. So I can demonstrate that I can remove the axle while it is still while the press is on the bow and that will demonstrate to you that when we press we press equally and we press down equally down the limb of the bow the limbs of the bow see we removed the axle and now i'm going to put the axle back in there we go see since we press down the center of the limbs, we press the limbs equally, and therefore the axle hole doesn't get out of alignment. So let me put the string back on. And we're going to press it a little bit more. make the string easier to put on. Now we've got the string on and we can check the cables to make sure they're all in place, everything's attached, nothing slipped out and I can release the pressure on the limb. There we go. Anyway, I think we've demonstrated that the Nighthawk bow press will press uh, the beyond parallel limb bows, and it does it relatively easily. So, hey, I thank you very much for your time, and hey, may every arrow be an X.